Hi, my name is Danny, and welcome to Esoteric Moment. Today, I just wanted to do a brief update. Um, video posting is always a little irregular. I try to post once a week, but uh, frankly, sometimes other priorities come up. And I want this experience of like being on YouTube and engaging with all of you lovely people to be something that I really look forward to. It isn't like a drudgery or a to-do list, so uh, I try to like pace myself and really make sure that when I'm here, I'm here because it is exactly what I want to be doing. So this spring, summer, Brad and I have been mainly focused on buying our first place. We have put in an offer that's been accepted. We finished inspections and we're just waiting for the title search and the um, bank to kind of finalize their stuff and we will be getting our first place. It's very exciting. It's taking so long. Um, buying a house in general, I think, you know, it takes time. It's a big purchase and deal, not just the finding a place, but like negotiating and getting, taking, taking care of all of those things you do before you actually get the keys. Um, in our case, the seller wanted a really long time before closing date. So we're not even closing until August 1st. It's good in some ways because it means that we can finish our commitments to community gardens and other projects we're doing with friends and stuff locally before moving because this is quite a move for us. It's about an hour away. At the same time, I'm a little impatient to get out there and get started on all of our projects and ideas. It's a small house that's under a thousand square feet, which is perfect for us, and it has about eight acres. It's really beautiful, uh, but more importantly, the soil is really healthy. It has some great pastures, some oak trees, and a little stream at the end. So we're excited to get out there and start our permaculture projects like more in depth, more long term. It already has some fruit trees that will need a little rehabilitation, but should be producing even this fall when we get out there. That is our biggest project going on uh, in life and you know takes up a fair amount of time. The other thing that I'm working on is finishing up my Ovid grade through Oban. There's kind of a project and end part to this grade that's a little bit different from the Bardic grade. And I have very clear ideas and expectations for what I want to do. And I'm finding it a little challenging to actually create that project in the way that I want to. Um, it will be semi open to you, my regular audience on YouTube, and also semi closed to just order members. Um, one of the things that came up in this grade for me in particular was that it is a order that has mysteries and there are things that they keep to themselves and really try to safeguard. Like you have to be a member, you have to show that you are ready for those skills and ideas before it's presented to you. I am of the opinion that Spiritual knowledge should be free and easily accessible. It's one of the reasons why I'm on YouTube and talking about things. I think that many people in today's world really appreciate open, honest communication about all sorts of things, including spiritual life and growth and practices. So I've really struggled this year with the, the things that are meant to be more quiet and part of the mystery elements of Obad and my desire for everything to be open and communicated clearly. Yeah, it's been a real struggle to kind of bridge those ideas and, and I've, I've reached a middle ground, I think, in how I want to approach that. I, I can honor many things that the Order wants to keep quiet and to themselves, uh, but I'm also going to work really hard to continue to be open and clear and sharing of, of what's happening for me personally and how the practices and druidry and, and what's changing in my life is actually affecting my practices. And connection, like that's, that's the whole point. You can't have connection with your community or your, or your spirit or your place of inhabitants without being honest and open. So 
my Ovate project will kind of help incorporate that and show how I've come into integrating this idea of like secret mystery and open, honest communication. I will give more details as soon as I've got things closer to being finished, uh, but there'll be some videos and some blog work and I'm really excited to share that. Hopefully by the end of the summer, uh, there will be something for you guys to see on that. So that is just a brief update on things that are happening in my life. We're buying our first place. It's eight acres. We're really, really excited, but it won't close until August 1st. Um, I'm working on my Ovate project. I hope to share that with you soon and uh, I'm excited for it. I think it'll be really lovely. I really hope your summer is turning out to be a lovely one and that you are spending time doing the things and with the people that you love. In the comments, tell me what your big project or you know, what is happening in your life this summer, what is kind of your main focus. It seems like this is a good year for changes and new things, so I would love to hear all about it. Okay, thanks for watching, and as always, may you find peace in the sacred grove. <laughs>